Just south of Branch to Oak Lake, the Nesquite Prayer Fall Camp is taking shape today and over the weekend. It's where dozens from Lincoln's Native American community are going to honor nature and start a new chapter after the development dispute between the group and the city last year. Ted 11's John Grinvalds has this full story. Facing cold winds and relentless machines, Members of the Nesquithe Prayer Camp stood against a housing development in the winter of 2023 to protect revered land. The builders are going ahead now. It's really hurt our spiritual community in some really deep ways. In fact, it's fractured it. But a warmer wind blowing today at fall camp. It's been a little less than a year since the Nesquithe Prayer Camp settled with the city of Lincoln. So the dozens gathering here are mourning the loss of what they say was the sacredness of a historic sweat lodge. But they're also here to inaugurate something new and look to the future. These teepees stretching toward the sky will be here through Sunday, but this site now houses a more permanent sweat lodge. Last night was the first night that uh, we held a ceremony in that sweat lodge and that was the birth of something new, something really beautiful. Native leaders tell me sweat lodges are a major part of their traditions. The sweat lodge, you know, in a deep, deep way, uh, reconnects us to our identities. Under the fall canopy and next to a communal fire, the noise of the outside world seems distant. Just sitting out here, I was reminiscing, you know, hearing the wind, looking at the trees, the different colors, how beautiful it is, you know. As Native people, you know, we believe what is called a harmony in life or a balance in life. They eat together, listen to one another, and learn about the rituals and customs that bind them. This work is all about the future. And the future generations, you know, for our youth, for those who aren't born yet, that's the work that we're doing, is to help them. The camp is open to the public, but the leaders here ask that anyone who wants to go reach out to the Nesquithe Prayer Camp group on Facebook first. Reporting in Lancaster County, John Grinvalds, 1011 News.